programming made possible by the Lawrenceburg Anderson County Tourism Commission, celebrating our spirits, the Georgetown Scott County Tourism Commission, Georgetown, Kentucky, pure small town charm, and West Banco. Thank you for your support. Hi, Carrie. I'm Brent. I'm the master distiller at Four Roses. Well, that's cool. Would you like to take a paddle with me? Why, oh, absolutely. Climb aboard. That ought to line us up pretty good. Yeah, a couple strong strokes on the other side, other side. Here we go. Bring us around here. <laughs> Woo! Brent, this is a beautiful river. It is, isn't it? How does the water, what do you use the water for? Pretty much everything in the distillery. It's the water that we use in our fermentation. It's the water that we use for our steam that uh, we use in the distillation. We use it uh, for cooling water. Pretty much without this river, we couldn't make Four Roses bourbon. Is the Salt River the reason that Four Roses is right where it is? Yes, and there have been distilleries on this site for uh, since the 1800s. The distilleries used to always be um, located at the mills where they would mill the grains. So as you know, mills are always located right there on rivers, on water sources, so it's very convenient. They can mill the grains, uh, and you also have the water source for the actual production of the bourbon. Yeah, we're just finishing up a, uh, a doubling of our capacity. And it's funny you talk about water. When we decided that we had to expand, we knew that the easiest thing to do would be to go off site and build something, you know, a greenfield project somewhere else. But because of like the water, because of the location, we knew that if we moved off site, we, uh, we'd risk the quality. We might not get the uh, same quality of Four Roses off the still that we expect. That's the biggest ingredient that goes into bourbon, if you think about it. Of course, every piece is important, the, the rye, the corn, the barley, the grains, the yeast, but the majority of what goes into bourbon is all water. Is there something special about the water in the Salt River that makes it good for bourbon? Oh yeah, the water in this river is perfect. It has of course, like all rivers in Kentucky, a lot of limestone. Of course, you get runoff water, but the majority of this water is coming from springs, which means it's run through the ground. If you know about Kentucky, you know, we sit on a layer of limestone, and limestone is very good for the production of bourbon. It imparts the calcium carbonate that is good for the yeast. So a nice, nice hard water with the, uh, the influence of limestone helps create Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Brent, I think Kyle is supposed to meet you at the distillery. You want to paddle on up and give him a tour of Four Roses? Oh, sure, Carrie. That sounds great. Let's head up that way. Sounds great. Programming made possible by the Lawrenceburg Anderson County Tourism Commission, celebrating our spirits the Georgetown Scott County Tourism Commission, Georgetown, Kentucky, pure small town charm, and West Banco. Thank you for your support.